Hey colors, welcome back to another episode of Combo Coloring Tips and Tricks. This is going to be episode 17 and today we are going to be concentrating on clouds. I've had a, a lot of requests for this tutorial and it's taken me a while to figure out exactly how I want to go about it. Um, things I wanted to talk about, the points I wanted to make. Um, I'm not the, not the forefront leader on painting clouds by any means. Uh, but there's, there's some tips and tricks I could I could throw your way. They'll help you out. Um, here's like a couple uh, pieces I had done that kind of feature clouds in the backgrounds. Um, you know, so here's a Spider-Man piece. Um, these pieces are on my Deviant Arts. If you want to look at them uh, more, uh, you can get them there as well. Uh, spawn piece right here. Uh, Spider Girl, and a piece by uh, my good friend Miko over in the Philippines. Uh, this is a, a Psylocke piece. Um, so you can see it, it really just keep the clouds simple. Um, you know this is a, a Psylocke piece, it's not a, a clouds pinup. <laughs> Same thing for uh, Spider Girl. You know you're just kind of using the clouds to kind of set a mood. Uh, you know tell the time of day or, or what have you. Um, you know they don't have to be super detailed or anything. Uh, which I think a lot of people get, get uh, carried away with, um, you know, using photos or trying to paint the heck out of out of the clouds, and it takes away from the main focus, which is the character. Um, you know, you see it all the time, like in uh, uh, panel work as well, uh, sequential pages, uh, where it just seems like they go, to, they spend way more time painting the clouds than they do the characters. Um, you know, you want your main focus to be on the characters. That's what the, you know, the whole point of the book is: is the characters, not the uh, not the clouds in the sky. Um, so I think once you get that in your head, uh, I, th I think it makes clouds a lot less intimidating. Also, on uh, any day, you know, uh, stuck in traffic or what have you, you know, just pop your head out the window and and look up at the sky. I mean, there's a uh, so many, so many times, you know, look up at the sky and just, uh, it just looks like a, a bad Photoshop clone job. You know, uh, clouds are always going to be different. So I don't think anybody could look at your clouds and say, hey, those are wrong. Or they, they should be done like this. There's no one way to do it. But I'm going to show you a, uh, a couple different uh, techniques that we can use. Um, found this piece today. Uh, I love Walt Simons and Thor, so when I saw this piece by uh, Jeff Stokely showing uh, uh, Thor the Frog of Thunder and, uh, uh, and um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Beta Ray Bill, you know, I just had to, had to grab it. Uh, if, you haven't, if you're not familiar with Jeff Stokely's work, I highly suggest you check it out. Uh, right now he's doing the Six Gun Gorilla uh, from Boom Studios. The artwork on it is just amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look. Let's see what we got. I have my flats uh, already done. Um, I drew the clouds on here, and what I did, I went ahead and cut cut them out and put them on a separate layer. Um, they were there. You know, we could play around with it um, in a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was my setup I had to do. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to show you like painting clouds as as they are. You know, with the line art already there and everything like that. So. Um, uh, just to keep it interesting, I wanted to lighten up this back area here, uh, just composition wise. Uh, this is going to be our light source as well. So this up here, these clouds up here are going to uh, are going to stay dark, and uh, we'll get some some lighting coming in here. And then I think on these guys here, we'll just get like some rim lighting uh, on it a little bit. And that again, this will just really help uh, frame the piece. I want to do, uh, I've been wanting to do for a while, a piece on composition uh, with color because it's not only up to the artists. They could, they could compose it, you know, and and keep your eye, you know, going around, uh, show you where the focus is. But if you if the colorist comes in and doesn't follow that with the coloring then it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, it'll all be for naught. So I think it's important to to know composition as well, like as a colorist. 
Or sometimes if the penciler didn't have like a strong composition, the color could come in and really save a piece as well. So I want to get into that uh, eventually. Uh, but right now, yeah, we're just gonna kind of gloss over it as as we uh, as we color this. So I have have these guys selected. Um, just put them on a separate layer just to make this easier. I'll just lock that layer uh, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, you know making selections and stuff like that. We're just gonna go in and paint these guys. Um, I'm gonna have my hybrid brush that I like using. Uh, don't want them too soft because they have like the hard lines around them, and you know just kind of following along with the what with the artwork has. But at the same time, I want them to have a different texture than the characters would. And so just got a little bit of a uh, softness on there. Hardness of 41. Um, I like to go, you know, in between. You know, could could go like 50, 50, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, spacing is at 11. Uh, gives us a nice, nice soft edge. Let me see, get a nice color here, so you can see that. Uh, you know, it's soft edge, but not too soft. So uh, I don't have any uh, uh, my shape dynamics. Nothing's on. Uh, just a basic uh, hybrid brush that I like using for clouds, uh, like this. So I'll go in and how I. Pick the color for the shadows of the clouds. Uh, it'll be say, like your blue color for your sky. And then just go in and uh, darken it some. And uh, desaturate a little bit. Because uh, the clouds, it's going to be reflective of your sky. So it's going to be in the shadows and everything. So that's usually how, how I'll go about it. It's the easiest way. Um, so, right, so let's go in. We'll grab a little bit lighter color. And we'll just start to, uh, you know, indicating, see where light source is coming from back over here. We'll zoom in so we can see this better. And let me go a little bit lighter. So just softly at first, you know, just kind of indicating uh, where our light source is. Just kind of sketching it in. And I have my opacity is at 100%. My flow is at 30. Um, so just to let you know, um, I've been getting a, a lot of questions uh, about blending colors, and it's less about like the the brush I use and more about those settings. You know, uh, I really don't mess with the opacity at all. Uh, I think I said it before, just because. I could change those easily on my uh, my number pad, uh, just just messing with the flow, and uh, uh, speeds it up a bit. Let's get a little bit of that going. I'm just kind of bring this in over here now. Just kind of sketching some more. And I have my on my uh, my Cintiq or on your tablet. Make sure you have uh, you know your setting, uh, your pressure settings uh, set up because that's like a lot of it. You know, like this part here, I'm barely touching down. But then, you know, I can go into these smaller parts and put more pressure. It gives me more color. You know, so again, there's like barely just a little bit of pressure. But you know, I'm pushing down. It's really light. And if I want more of that color, I just push a little harder on it. Like that. Really uh really makes your life a lot easier if you have those set up and it works a lot too as far as uh, blending blending your colors. This cloud is kind of indicate a little bit in here. Kind of wrapping around a little bit there.
we'll go in and we'll paint some more shadows in here as well in a little bit. But yeah, just really kind of blocking in where my light's coming from at first. I'm not going to go uh, too crazy with the detail again. Our main focus is on the uh, on the characters. So I'll just indicate a little bit here. Just kind of break up break up the shadows a little bit. I'll have a little bit of reflective light coming in my shadows as well. We'll get to that in a bit too. Step back and see how that looks. That's looking okay. I think now, because uh, these clouds here are going to be closer to the light source, so I think we go in with a soft, soft brush. No hardness at all, so it's all soft. This will be like your uh, basic brush that comes with the uh, Photoshop. Now it's kind of softening the edges, like here in the front part of it. So again, it's going to be uh, uh, closer to the light, so the shadows aren't going to be as harsh or anything. Uh, let me soften these guys up just a little bit. Not a whole lot of pressure uh, when I'm pushing down in my pen. So I'm pretty happy with that right there. Now we go in with the uh, uh, next shade. Go back to my hybrid brush again. And again, just to, uh, remembering where our light source is coming from. I'm trying to get a little bit, a little bit looser with my uh, uh, strokes here. Um, you know, it's kind of breaking it up a little bit more, so we get some interesting shapes in there, and um, you know, just keeping it, just keeping it nice and random. Uh, doing a little bit more dabbing as well uh, than I was before, giving it some uh, some softness, uh, you know, to it, making it nice and puffy. Oops. 
All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oops, wrong palette, let me get my color. Again, just moving more towards the uh, the white. You know, actually, I think what we'll do first, kind of get a little bit more of the sky color going in here. I'm just kind of dabbing it in. A little bit more yellow, so it's just adding a, a little bit more interest to the uh, to the color, to the clouds. Um, See, so I'm just kind of dabbing that around some, and then we'll grab the uh, the white. We'll help define this a little more. Just doing this uh, really quickly, just kind of indicate uh, everything for you guys. If uh, this is a commission or uh, you know a paying paying thing, then yeah, definitely spend more more time on it. Um, but yeah, I just have like a couple other uh, things I want to show you, so I'm just kind of going through this really quickly. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just lighten that up some levels. see and we have that on a separate layer we'll do a uh, new layer with the clipping mask above the line art and we'll just pick um, that color and just fill in the whole layer as you can see I already have like this uh, this other line art already knocked out in the in back of it so since that's on top I could just go ahead and, and do this and then everything should be uh should be cool. Let me see now. Just oops. We'll, uh, darken that a tad and add some a uh, little bit of saturation to it. I think. Hmm. These clouds need a little bit less yellow. Let me do that the highlights. Maybe that'll, that'll work out better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, since they're going to be closer to our light source, I'll lighten them up a little bit. Just so we can get uh, uh, some depth going in there. And then we lighten up the the line art layer on that one as well. That yeah, looks pretty good. I mean, lighten up this one. Just to help soften it up a little bit, and we'll get some separation with the birds so that they could pop out some. Uh, let me add a little bit of Let me do this again. Wasn't liking the color that it was uh, that it was starting to become. There you go. I don't want to totally get rid of it because uh, I really like the the line work that's on there. So I think yeah, I think that works pretty good. Um, again, uh, spend you know more time on it if you if you like. Uh, let's go in first. It's gonna kind of go in with the with a little gray and some of these shadow areas. That's a little bit lighter, and you know, just uh, uh, popping a little bit here. Just giving a little bit of a uh, reflective light in the shadows, adding a little bit of warmth to it. 
which is adding, adding uh, uh, more interest to the uh, to the colors. See, I think that uh, that works okay, and you can see, you know, we're kind of so we're going around the edge. We're we're framing up uh, Beta Ray Bill and and uh, Thor the Frog. So that's one way to do it. You know, coloring it with the line art, I think it makes it a lot easier. Um, you don't really have to think about it as much. Uh, so let's get rid of all that. Let's say if we didn't have a uh, a background and we just have just the two figures and you know we're told by our editor oh by the way uh, you know they're they're flying through the sky so this is the piece we get you know we're looking at it and it's like okay well what time of day is it um, you know hopefully it'll have like notes with that along with it or if it's totally up to you you could decide um, as you can see I like to keep I guess I already closed all my other those pinups I had before, you know, the Spider-Man, like the sky is green at night. Uh, the Psylocke, it was red. Uh, I like to keep it interesting. Uh, it's comic books, you know, not everything has to uh, look like it takes place in the real world. Um, I think, because when I work uh, during the day, my day job, I work in advertising, a lot of times uh, our directors like to throw around the term magic hour, which is usually... Uh, a couple hours before the sun is totally set so you get like the depending on where you live I, I know in LA um, you know this the it tends to get really uh, around like 5 o'clock 530 uh, you get like this nice in between uh, daytime and then but at night you get like some orange so with the sun setting some oranges and pinks starting to be introduced a little you know little bits of purple and when the art directors are doing car commercials, they just love that time, and they call it magic hour because it makes their product, especially cars, you know, look like magic. Um, you know, uh, very appealing to the eyes. Uh, so I think that's that's what we'll try on on this piece. You know, it'll help sell them. You know, kind of romantic, uh, flying through the sky together, best buddies. Uh, so we have this blue. Um, how should we uh, first attempt it? Let's see. What I found, there's uh, tons of these. They're just like, they call them brushes, but they're just like photo stamps of, uh, of clouds. You find them everywhere on, uh, on the internet. Why isn't that working? Hold on. Deselect. No color is right. Okay. I guess I wasn't pushing hard enough. Uh, so, you know, it's just like photos of clouds, these types of brushes. Let me see if I get another one going. Uh, you know. So, there you go. You could stamp it like that and, like, okay, I'm done. You know, but that's doesn't take like a whole lot of uh, imagination you're not really selling the perspective or anything like that you could be here all day long like oh there, there, there you go done done but at the end of the day everybody's gonna look at that and like oh that's that one brush <laughs> you know it's like oh you just use a photo and it really doesn't work uh, with the uh, with the comics so usually what I'd like to do is you can start off with one of these brushes or maybe start off with the photograph um, you know, and from that, paint on top of it, uh, work it out, uh, just to make it, just to make it more interesting. So, I actually like those clouds right there, uh, that I use with that brush. And I think I have one, a brush, a cloud brush set, set aside for a future episode of the Brush Spotlight series. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. I found a, a really nice one. The, the ones that I'm using here, I can't remember uh, the name of it or where I got them from, but uh, I did set aside a, a cloud one for you guys, so uh, yeah, watch out for that. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get on that next week. Not exactly sure what my schedule is going to look like quite yet. Um, 
say I have like a couple other cloud brushes. Let me see if I got. And these are more for like painting clouds. You know, so it's like really, you know, random uh, softness, I guess. Uh, the shape of the brush is pretty weird. Uh, let's see, another cloud brush. So, you know, the more you push on it, the more uh, uh, opaque it's going to get. But yeah, I'm just going to use this and let's go ahead and start painting it in like some white. You know, uh, and again, it, it's all about your uh, how much pressure you're using, so watch out for that. Um, you know, so you got this. Clipping oh, mask, there you go. And again, uh, you know, just pull up a photo of some clouds or, uh, you know, reference. Take, take plenty of uh, photos yourself and uh, see, see what kind of clouds you like. Uh, build up a lo nice little reference library. Um, you know, don't be afraid to, to reference stuff like as you're, as you're trying to paint it. So here, just kind of... You know, just kind of painting around the edges, indicating more of a more of a light source. Uh, so you know, we could go like that. Uh, that's just a really quick example of a uh, way we can do it. Um, you can use your your smear brush, smear it around a little bit more, get more of a, a painted look. But uh, before I get too far off. I remember we said we're going to do a uh, magic hour type of sky. So let's get like a nice purple uh, going. That'll be. That looks nice. Uh, let's get a pink. You know, just make it nice and dramatic. Uh, let's pick. I think that looks good. And then we'll just go ahead and go back to our. Uh, Open up a new layer. Let's go back to oops, these brush presets and uh, so you can find like a nice. And your clouds don't always have to be white either. Let me see. I had a good one earlier. Let's take that that color and throw it on an overlay, you know. And then from there we can go in and uh, you know go in and start painting some more. Uh, but you know, just keep it interesting, keep your skies interesting. Um, and again, you you don't even have to uh, go so far as that. I think with the you know your here's your basic brushes. You know, just take a, a nice soft brush. Uh, you know, you, that you get with Photoshop, build it up, and, you know, you get away with, with a, a little bit of this. I'm sure, you know, you, you've seen uh, these types of clouds in the sky as well. Again, your main focus is going to be on, on these two characters, not what's, you know, going on behind them in the sky or anything like that. So, you know, a couple things to, to uh, keep in mind when you're doing it. Don't get too crazy with your clouds. Um... I think another great resource for uh, learning how to paint clouds, uh, besides you know just practice doing it over and over and over again on YouTube, uh, you can look at tons of tutorials. You know, uh, I think a good one would be uh, people painting clouds, say like in oil paints or something. Um, you know, just to learn the shapes of the clouds. Uh, you know, but at the same time, there's nothing better than than studying and uh, practice. Doing it over and over and over again, um, but yeah, I think that's that's about it. I want to get the the video going too long. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. I'll put uh, Jeff Stokely's Divin Art account in the description, uh, so you can check out more of his stuff. Uh, amazing artist. I'm always excited to hear when he's working on some new stuff. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. 
Um, check out my DeviantArt to see more of my work, lumich.deviantart.com. Uh, if you like what you see, please uh, hit the like button. And um, helps me out, uh, helps my videos get seen, and um, you know gets more uh, people heading our way. Um, at this point, we're already over 500 subscribers, uh, so I want to say wel welcome to the new uh, the new subscribers and and uh, thanks for the longtime supporters as well. Um, if you have any suggestions um, you'd like to see, you know, uh, just let me know. And oh, before I forget, I'd like to do a big uh, uh, question and answer video. So if you have uh, any specific questions either about any of my other videos or you know problems you might be having uh, that you've come across, um, let me know. So if I, if I get enough I'd like to do a, a question and answer video. Um, so yeah that's about it. We're gonna end it here. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.